Which would you drink? The purity of water was once measured by taste, but this was quite dangerous. Nowadays, we have science based policies to maintain public access to safe drinking water. In the US, research helps the EPA set and enforce standards that evaluate the risks associated from a water source. These standards, called maximum contaminant levels, help local governments deliver safe drinking water across the country. There are three main steps to setting a standard. First, the water source is assessed for potential hazards. Second, the amount of potential health hazards are compared to scientific knowledge about what makes us sick. And third, the route of exposure is considered. Can the contaminant burn on contact or accumulate in your system? All of these steps together help determine the safety risks of drinking water. Let's say our town wants to use a local river for tap. Potential hazards like metals might come from the manufacturing plant upstream. Scientists then perform specific tests to find the exact type and amount of metal in the river. What they measure tells us whether the metals have any immediate or long term health effects and informs the water treatment process. Thanks to our current policies, you can get water quality reports from your local water utilities every year to see that they are meeting standards. Meeting these standards is not cheap, however, so here at MIT, Course 1 researchers are searching for new supplies of safe drinking water to lower the cost of water testing to track contaminants, and to study the spread of disease, all in an effort to keep public drinking water safe and accessible. So let's give a cheer to the research and policies that deliver safe tap water, protect our health, and our environment.